Welcome back to another one everybody. So I was down putting some grass seed on uh, our spot in the driveway where the plow got into the yard a little bit and I uh, looked up and I see a woodchuck running the fence line up here above the house. So I'm up here, got my 300 wind mag set up on the bench here and I'm going to show you my setup to kill this chuck here. I just wiped off the glass a little bit. Uh, I'm shooting the SHV uh, Night Force 4x14 scope here. And uh, everybody always asks about my dope and how I do everything. So I like to show everybody exactly how my setup is here. Put my round in. The polished knob made my uh, bolt handle here. Or my bolt. Make sure it's back on safe. So we're loaded with 168 grain Sierra match tip. And the chuck's at 310 yards up there in between the two fields. So I know at 300 yards I'm at 2 MOA, 2 minutes of angle. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to put that right on 2 MOA. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is look at the smoke. What kind of wind do we got? We got a slight right to left, but hardly any wind really. When the foliage comes, we'll be able to look down there at uh, the leaves and stuff and see what it's doing. Now it's kind of coming straight at us. But anyways, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to hold a little bit right on the woodchuck when I pull the trigger just because we have a right to left wind, but it's not going to be enough to really move that round enough for me to miss the woodchuck, or at least it shouldn't be. I've been kind of messing up my windage so far this year though on my long range rangers some but okay so our moa is right we're not going to adjust uh windage at all on this side my focus is on 14 and we're going to put this right on 300 yards for my focus right there and now uh one of my secrets to uh shooting on this bench is I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it right under the handle right there so really when I'm shooting this wood chuck I'm going to have the crosshairs right on this chuck and I'm not going to be really holding holding the gun so to speak whatsoever it's it's going to be kind of sitting on the bench really so we're going to see if we can't get that wood chuck in the camera over here, I'm going to set this camera back up, get it on there, and we're going to launch one, folks. Okay, everybody, and just like that, I think we got a dead chuck. That 300 wind mag, I think, hammered the heck out of that wood chuck. It was actually standing up, facing away on the fence line when I shot, and uh, I think I hammered it. So let's go hop on the gator and go check it out. It was about two weeks ago I shot a woodchuck that was right under that uh, bent fence post right there. And uh, if you look over here, there's some fresh holes. And right here is a big old fat woodchuck that just met its maker due to the 300 wind mag. Look at the blood splatter all the way back here. Right there, right there. Right there. Look how far back this goes. Right here, all the way to right there. <laughs> There's some right there. That's that's about 10 yards. He was facing just like he's laying right there, standing right up when I shot him. So the round went in right in here, I'm thinking. Let's uh, flip them over and see what this looks like. So if you're squeamish and you don't want to see blood or guts, go ahead and just click right off the video right now. I'll give you a second before I 
before I uh, flip it over. So hopefully if you don't want to see this, you're gone by now. So let's flip it over and see what's going on. This is a 168 grain Sierra match tip via 300 wind mag. And I hit him center mass and blew right through his heart and lungs. There's a chunk of a liver right there. And that big old chuck didn't feel a thing. Absolutely awesome. That one right there is number eight on the year, I believe. Eight or nine. Shot right from the house at 310 yards or so. We'll uh, go for a ride and see what we can find. 